This is the replay you want to go over, right? That's right. All right. So, any particular reason why you want to go over this replay? Because it looks um, like it's it's the last game that I played. Yeah. 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 I've been playing a lot of bot games actually because uh, I started out playing. I mean, I think on Dota buff. Uh, funny thing is, like, I only have about uh, 500 ranked games. Uh, maybe 425. I think the last time I checked. Okay. Yeah. So I only have uh, 425 uh, ranked games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. The one thing that I will tell you is that um, playing with bots when you want to yeah. learn a new hero. Um, then playing with bots really helps because uh, you don't understand that hero very well. Or maybe you've yep. played that hero before and you understand, uh, you, you know what the hero is supposed to do, but you don't have the feel for it. So playing against bots isn't too bad, but you can also do It's just for in, uh, warming up and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, but you can do that with uh, in unranked. For warming up, I would highly advise you to go over to um, the arcade and do the last hit challenge every single day. Okay. Um, okay. The first, the first thing you do when you open Dota and you uh, start, you know, hit that place, uh, play Dota button. Before you do that, yeah. come to the last hit challenge. Um, you'll come to a screen like this. You pick a hero that you play often or you plan on playing in mm. your next game. Go to the 2:30 minute one, and uh, basically you start off with base stats. Uh, you don't get any items. And then you have to, for two and a half minutes, you have to last hit and deny as much as possible. Now, I would recommend to you that don't worry about denying. Forget about okay. the deny score. Just worry about your last hit. And just okay. get your last hits to as high as possible. And it's it's nice to uh, warm up as well that way. It's great yeah. practice and it's warm up as well. And, okay, I'll do that. All right. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, I was saying that you really want to practice. You want to play ranked games. And you only want to play ranked games. The reason for that is because it is... Um, so nice. Ranked games are going to be the games where people are going to be playing seriously. People are going to be playing to the maximum of your skill level as well. Like yeah. um, everybody's going to be playing at the highest skill level, which is going to be around your skill level. So you don't yep. want to be playing uh, bot matches or uh, unranked matches or something like that because um, it, it, I'm not going to learn anything from them. It's not you will learn, but it's not okay. Uh, it's not going to be the highest skill level, right? So you're not going to learn yep. as much. Playing against bots, it's the same thing over and over and over again. So there's a yep. limit to what you can learn from that. So, okay. uh, Are you playing support win or are you playing mid or what? Where, which uh, <laughs> well, basically, I bought the courier because no one bought it. Yeah, that's the only reason why I bought it. Uh, as for my role, uh, I... I mean, I I didn't I didn't think of whether I was going to be a carry or support in this game, yeah. Um, I, I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit confused. Uh, what, yeah. what do you what do you mean you didn't know uh, if you were gonna be like didn't anybody mark? Because uh, at 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 my MMR, like like you said, uh, everyone's gonna play carry, so uh, yeah. Yeah, like um but is this a ranked game? Uh yeah, it's basically uh I, I don't know, it was like one point seven or one point eight K average yeah. game. Yeah, so so uh, I mean everything's pretty <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I, I didn't I didn't uh I didn't <laughs> nice. play a fixed role in this game. Yeah, I didn't play a fixed role in this game um, though. It's, it's a it's a pretty bad game. I mean, nice. uh, in terms of like, I mean, it's it's not really a good game. Um, if we if we talk about the skill level, yeah. All right, let's get a few things out of the way. I'm I'm sure. really confused because uh, this is the first time I'm coming up with this situation where I I remember these games to be honest. I remember games like these, but this was something uh -huh. like eight years ago, uh, or okay. not even eight years ago, longer than that even. Uh, okay, it was okay. back when it was Dota 1 days, uh, yeah. nobody had any idea how Dota worked. You would yeah. pick pick uh, just whatever heroes, like you would, the uh, system was you go ra one range, one melee in, uh, yeah. in in bot lane, one range, one yeah, melee that's right, in top that's lane, right. yeah. and yeah. Uh, one ranged, uh, preferably one ranged person in the mid lane. And yeah. your the ranged person's main goal was to harass the enemy. And yep, the melee, right. melee's, melee person's role was to farm, essentially. Yep. But this yep. this is very reminiscent. But, but however, at, these, at this time, uh, 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 Dota is so popular, 
um, international yeah. and all that, like tournaments and all that. Everybody knows yeah. how to play more or less. Everybody knows. Yeah, that's areas, true. There's mids, there's supports. Everybody knows what like Windrunner yeah. can play offline. Windrunner can play mid, but Windrunner yeah. doesn't really go support. So when oh, you okay. when you start marking heroes in the lanes, uh, yeah. you really need to know uh, where everybody's going, right? Um, yeah. If everybody's marked, if somebody's marked mid, somebody's marked yeah. carry, somebody's p- picked um, a spirit breaker. Like, yeah. it's, let, let's say somebody's picked bot lane, right? And yeah. you're not yeah. sure if let, let's say spirit breaker pick is this spirit breaker? Is this? Yeah, yeah, it's Spirit Breaker. Yeah. So uh, let's say Spirit Breaker is marked. Uh, no, no, because I was clicking on the guy and it. Uh, oh, oh, it didn't change. Anyway, okay. Um, so let's say Spirit Breaker is marked bot. So just ask him, hey, are you playing carry or support? And wait okay. for him to answer, right? If he says yeah. he's playing carry, then you can just uh, pick a support, pick a normal okay. support. And if he All says, right. I'm going to pick, I'm going to play support, so then you pick a carry. It doesn't matter yeah. if the guy picks a regular support or an unusual support, like Spirit Breaker isn't a support hero. But if, yeah. he, if he says, I'm going to support, then what that means to you is that he's not going to farm, you're going to farm. Yeah. So you need to pick a hero who's going to be able to scale well with farm. Okay. So uh, so uh, you don't end up with a like, Crystal Maiden in this lane playing carry, you know? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. So you need to know the roles of these heroes. And this is... Um, like if you played 400 games then you really need to know which hero uh goes in which lane and uh you know what hero is played like i i think i i, I know the general uh rules i mean yeah generally yeah all right and uh, also if you go on the dodo to wiki whichever hero you want to play uh you can yeah. go to dodo to wiki and you can learn uh what their you know like if you go on winrunner it'll say that because of these particular skills of winrunner uh, namely because of her wind run, she can yep. uh, work well in the offlane, and because of uh, her potential to scale well in the mid to late game uh, yep. with focus fire and agonims, uh, that's why she goes in the mid game uh, in the mid lane because she can actually um, perform really well in the mid lane and then yep. scale well with items and uh, XP and be a great impact in the mid to late game. So yep. uh, uh, that makes that's sense. Why you're gonna yeah, yeah, that's why you want to learn all of these, all of these years, and it's also good to go on to Dota Buff. You know where? The, okay. Uh, let me show you uh, this yeah. page. This page. Uh, if you go on to Dota Buff, you go yeah. on to Heroes. You go on yeah. to Meta. Yeah, and the uh, Meta, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then. So I'll, I'll know the uh, win rates and pick rates for my uh, bracket. Don't bother too much about win rates. I did okay. used to think win rates was a big thing because if you click the win rates. Yeah, we'll it's obviously like, going to be... Yeah. yeah, but if you look at Elder Titan, it, oh, yeah, okay, he's got 55% minute, but look yeah. at how much... So his pick rate's only, yeah, 3%. Yeah, so that means, like, he's either being situationally picked or he's being picked by people who know how to play him, right? So yeah, that's, that's not true. something that we... And also, you might not find him often in your game. So you want to look at the top, like... The top 10? 10, yeah. Top 10, top 15, uh, highest yeah. pick heroes. Then you want to go over to Dota 2 Wiki, you want to read okay. everything there is to re- re- know about that hero, and then you yeah. will know exactly where that hero goes in the lane, what strengths and weaknesses that hero has, so that if he, that hero is in your enemy team, you know how to deal with it. If that hero is being played in as your um, in your team, you know exactly mm-hmm. what that hero is supposed to do, or yeah. you know that's, what. That's that's a really good point. Is. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's wait. I think you had a self. Did you? Yeah, uh, so, I mean, uh, for this game, uh, how how are how are, are the um, starting items? I mean, uh, is there a particular uh, starting item build that I should have uh, gone for instead? Because, uh, I mean, uh, based on my uh, experience, I mean, like I'm I'm usually playing support. I'm I my my mentality is not very good at carrying. Okay. Yeah, so that's the reason why I bought all the cells and all that because I just assume that uh, Spirit Breaker is going to you know take farm in my lane. Okay. So yeah. if you are going to exclusively play support, then I've got a tip yeah. for you in your bracket. You can yeah. actually, in when the game starts, uh, when you're in the picking phase, just write, yeah. uh, just write there, guys, I'm going to support. Mm. And ju- just first pick a support. Just first pick it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because support can go first. Yeah, I, I, I do that uh, sometimes. So I should do that uh, more often if I want to focus on support. Absolutely, I think you should do it okay. a lot more often. Okay. Now, he, support yeah. heroes that you should be picking are Lion, um, okay. Witch Doctor, 
Okay. Uh, Dazzle. Yeah. Omni Knight. Okay. Just let me just run through these guys really quick so that. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, we're talking about like so-called uh, defensive supports like Omni Dazzle. Uh, Lion is not a defensive support. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. What about Winter? Support. Winter. What about Winter? No, I wouldn't recommend Winter. Oh, you wouldn't? Okay. Too, too positional. Uh, it too. It depends to his ogre. I'm trying to find ogre. Okay. Okay. So no CM. Uh, winter. Uh, no, yeah. No. 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 Winter. No. Winter wyverns. Uh, CM. Okay. They are way too positional heroes. Way. Way. Okay. Too, you have to be correct in position. Okay. Otherwise that, that, that's true because um, basically, like I I I try oh, to identify uh like what are my main weaknesses and I've come to three uh, conclusions. Firstly, uh, my my positioning is always bad, and that's the reason why I'm feeding like every game. Okay. Like yeah. it's basically yeah. because my positioning is just terrible. Um, secondly, I don't have a mechanical uh, skill. Like, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not getting CS, and I'm not able to really utilize the attack animation canceling thing. Uh, you just have to press S. Uh, yeah, just have to press S, right, and hold mm -hmm. it. Yeah, then uh, you know, yeah, hit the creep at the last mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, I think yeah, I I will have to do the uh, last hit challenge uh, map. Yeah, the one that you showed me just now. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do just, that. Uh, do that several practice. times. Yeah. yeah. Do that several times, and you should you should be able to get pretty good at this. Yeah. I so it. I mean, uh, yeah, I I think that uh, my best position is probably hard support or you know like position four or five that kind of thing. That's yeah. my best. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm I do the best in in those two roles. Yeah. So. Okay. So I've yeah. marked out one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven so supports. Okay. So dazzle. Uh, so you've got eventual, your you've okay. got your defensive supports in the yeah. dazzle, omni, and omni, vengeful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, vengeful is also a defensive support because her. I I didn't know that. Yeah, I yeah. I always saw her as like some kind of uh, you know like more offensive in the, line. In the early game, she is offensive. You can play her okay. very offensively, but in the mid to late game, what you're trying to do is you're trying to swap out uh, your cores who are getting danger, yeah. who, who are getting um, who are dying or in a dangerous position. You yeah. swap in, uh, swap them out, stun somebody, and then you're probably just gonna die. Uh, but okay. that's fine because you, uh, even if you die, you give negative aura to the enemy team, so it's pretty Oh, easy. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you've got these two healers. They're basically, their role in the in the game is to keep your carry or your mid laner, one of your cores alive. Don't yeah. save, don't heal, or uh, try to grave or anything, one of your other supports or your offlane or somebody like that. You don't want to do that. You only so I should be save. focusing on my carries. Absolutely. Just look at okay. that one guy, your carry or your mid laner, whoever is playing really well or whoever talks your same the same language or whatever, you know, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. not, who doesn't seem like an idiot. Uh, yeah. So just focus on that guy and just keep healing him. Uh, okay. Witch Doctor is kind of a mix between these two. He has right. heal, he has some nuke, yes. he has stuns. Yeah. He's a bit yeah. of a, a little bit of an advanced level because you kind of need to know um, oh, oh, you need to make a decision like, okay, this game, uh, we need some more nuke, so I'm going to level okay. up Maledict. Uh, okay. This game, we need more stun, so I'm going to level yeah. up stun. This game, Actually, uh, yeah, just a question. Uh, I mean, is, is there any uh, uh, scenario where we're supposed to level up stun? Because uh, usually I don't level up uh, stun. On race doctor? Yeah, I, I always just go like uh, one, one point in stun. Uh, you always want to max stun, actually. Oh okay okay. Yeah uh, yeah yeah. You you always want to uh, max stun. Like not okay. always, but ninety nine percent of the time you want to max stun. I, I should be maxing stun. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. That's the only All way right. to play. So I think uh, yeah, for every hero, I've got these uh, misconceptions. Absolutely. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. it comes to it comes down to experience because you have been yeah. playing. I think you're spending too much time on in with bots. I think yeah. you should be even unranked games at 1.8. The people might not understand these heroes. They're just play, learning and playing for fun. So you yeah. need to play more ranked games, and that way you will under, actually see other people. Like when you're playing, we'll go over it. When you're playing, just click on the enemy team, click on the yeah. person, and see what they are building, what they're making. Like if yeah. you said you watch pro games, then you should definitely yeah. be able to see like what these guys are doing. So. Yeah. You should be looking at that. And also in your games, if you have a game where somebody performs really, really well, then uh, let's say with your, in your team or the enemy uh -huh. team, 
then download their replay, watch that replay from the player perspective of that person, see what they did, see what the yeah. how they leveled up, see what the items they had, starting game, mid game, late game, see what their movements were, when did where did they go, what time did they mm. go, you mm. know, time time is very important. Okay, okay. So yeah. yeah. And then and then you've got your aggressive supports who are the lion, uh, okay. lich and okay. the ogre. Now, ogre, ogre is right. a really really good support because he's yeah. tanky, he yeah. doesn't really care about positioning at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's super tanky. Yeah. You've got even if the enemy team starts to focus you, that's a win yeah. for you because you're not going to die immediately. You're still going to be yeah. able to throw out armor. your stun. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. still going to be able to throw out your stun and your, uh, what do you call it, ignite. You're going to yep. slow the enemy team. Uh, you're not going to die. And hopefully, before you go into that team fight, you will have bloodlusted your carries. So you okay. have a super big carry and you're sort of a tank there and yeah. you are winning that team fight. So, okay, uh, so, so it would be a good idea to play Ogre as well because he's more uh, straightforward, less uh, complicated. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Right now, Right now, you want to play... Uh, you want to play heroes who are straightforward, who are not complicated at all, because and you want to stick to these seven heroes. If you're going to stay play support, then stick to these seven heroes only. Okay. Go to Dota Buff. Okay. Sorry, not Dota Buff. Go to Dota 2 Wiki. Read everything there is to know. So read everything there is to know about Ogre Magi. Then go and play two or three games of Ogre Magi. Then go okay. to Omni Knight. Then go to Lion or whoever you want. But okay. go to one person. Uh, go to Dota 2 Wiki. Read about them. And then go in your games and play that hero and, and play uh, uh, okay. yeah, a few times. A few times. Okay. Play that hero a few times. The good thing about support is that you can literally pick uh, pick the support whenever you want, right? Uh, whenever <laughs> like, I want means uh... like if the, when a, when when you're picking a carry, you have to worry about being countered, right? Okay. But when you're picking a support, you don't really care. You can pick it whenever. Right? Yeah, you're not, you're yeah. not gonna get counter. That's true. That's like, true. I don't. Ha I don't really have to worry about uh, support being counter picked. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Like yes, okay. dazzle is a big issue, but I super highly doubt that anybody is gonna actually counter your. Yeah, counter pick the support. It's uh, it's unlikely. Actually, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And even even uh, you know I think yeah, there's only two counters to dazzle. There's the axe and there's the ancient apparition. Nobody's ah. gonna pick ancient apparition in your games. And yeah. axe is you know it's. It's whatever. It's you know, it's yeah. a tough day, tough day. Okay. Anyway, so this game is gonna be really tough for me to analyze because you're playing Windrunner, but you're not playing Windrunner, Windrunner um, in a regular way, right? Yeah, so that, that's tough. right. Like like I said, uh, like yeah, before I went into the game, I didn't uh, I didn't actually think like I was going to play support or carry. That that's why uh, it's 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 pretty weird. Like I even even though I said that I wanted to play support, right? But I end up taking my uh, carries farm and stuff like that. So, hmm. yeah. All right. Um, okay. So yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna try to help you play support better. So that's what we're. Okay. Gonna do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I would love to. Uh, yeah. Focus on support. Let's go back and jump into um, jump into the beginning of the game one more time and see sure, sure. how things went. So, uh, looks like looks like you guys came to the rune. Yeah, uh, this this is quite unusual because it it never. I mean, people are not so, I mean, you know, dumb to do this kind of stuff usually. Okay. So it's quite unusual. Yeah. So. All right. So you got yeah. you got you guys got you got first blood in fact, and you guys yeah. got another kill on this. Um, uh, arrow. gyro. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now. I noticed that you have not. You bought a courier. Obviously, you realize that you're a support. You've got plenty yeah. of regen, which is really good. You've got a wind lace, which okay. is actually really, really good as okay. a support. And you got, um, and you got like um, tangles. Yeah, region and re yeah, re yeah, lots of region and wind lace, which is really, really good. Now, okay. and you got the courier. Um, yeah. The only thing that you missed out on was a ward. Yeah. Yeah, it, it I didn't. Really, I didn't. I, I think nobody bought wards this game. Yeah, it's super important that you buy wards. Okay, if if I bought a ward, like uh, where where should I put it? Should I just put it at the bottom rune? I'm not gonna waste your time in this uh, replay telling you where you should put the runes because if you okay. go into my channel, 
Um, yeah, there I have it's a full there. video. Yeah, it, I have a full video okay. where I go over where you should be boarding. Uh, I've I've split it up into three sections: a beginner, advanced, a beginner, medium, intermediate, and advanced. You just okay. need to follow the beginner one. Uh, okay. I, basically, the uh, it's a uh, beginner one is for all the way up till about. You know, two two point five k people. Sure. I you're not gonna put too many wards up. You're gonna buy like one one or two wards every five okay. minutes or so. Uh, okay. So you're gonna have at the maximum at any given point in the game, you're gonna have like one or two wards in the game in, in okay. on the map. But it is still important to have one ward on the map. And okay. uh, at, essentially, apart from the starting starting game wards, uh, in the mid to late game, the only places you're gonna ward are the places where you are gonna be pushing the towers that you're going to be pushing and the towers that you're going to be defending. Let's say you're pushing this tower, so you put a ward up here. Let's say you're okay. defending this tower. Uh, it, it, well, if you're defending this tower, just leave yeah. it. Just let this tower die. Uh, okay. Same goes for this tower and same goes for this tower, to be, uh, to be honest. But if okay. you're defending this tower, uh, put the ward up here. If you're defending okay. this tower, put a ward up uh, here. Put, put and, put, okay. yeah, and put a ward up here and okay. or more. And again, if you're defending this tower, put a ward up here or put a ward up here. And I go okay. over my video uh, for all of this. And it's all inside, where, okay? Yeah, where you should always be warding. But you need you need at least one ward, um, okay, on the map just to give you a little bit of an idea. Uh, yeah. And you want to be watching. You want to keep an eye out on the mini map. You want to get into the habit of looking at the mini map constantly. Now, yeah. you you went for the rune. That's also really really good. Uh, you uh, you stack that one time now I don't really yeah. highly advise okay th this is yeah bad bad positioning basically like um, I, yeah, I, was I terrible. Go, uh, yeah let's go back on that but uh, if, okay. when we when we talk about pulling I don't advise very highly that you pull uh, like okay that. Um, especially at your level you're still learning uh, so I yeah. would say just stay in your lane just stick in stick to your lane uh, try to deny creeps if you want uh, try to so that, that's more enemy. important than pulling at my bracket right now. Well, pulling is important, but it, it I don't want you to get into too much, especially when okay. you're playing heroes like Ogre, heroes like uh, Omni Knight or yeah. Dazzle. Then the reason why you pick those heroes is to allow your your uh, carry to sustain uh, okay. in the lane. So you should just be focusing on sustaining. Focusing on uh, lane support, something yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, focused fully on lane support. And with your okay. skills, you want to be harassing the enemy offlaner. You want to be, you know, just, just constantly harass him, just right click him, uh, just make sure you annoy him as much as possible. Make his life as hard as you possibly can. Make him use and, his regen, okay. Yeah, make him use his regen, make him go back to base, harass him, make sure that your okay. carry is able to farm safely. Now, also, when you pick a support like a Dazzle or a Omni or any sort of a healing support, yeah, <laughs> or even a stun support, then you want to have a TP as soon as possible. And you want to keep an eye out on the mid lane. And if the mid lane is being dived under tower, then yeah. you want to TP there and you want to heal him or save him and then walk okay. back to your lane. That's really, really so. I, I I should I should get an early TP. Okay. Yeah, you should get an early TP. Now, yeah, this positioning right here. You just forgot where you like you you didn't focus on where you your uh, hero was. You click back, and you click forward, and then you started clicking there, and your hero started moving that in that direction. Yeah. So, um, it's it's a it's a big deal, but it's something that you just need to be aware of, and it it comes with practice. Okay. Uh, and wind run shackle. Oh, nice. The shackles are actually really really good right now. Okay. Right. I think we we got him again. Yeah. All right. But nice. it, it it the the game isn't so easy after this. Like, it they they stop doing the dumb things. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, like, you made a few mistakes here. Um, okay. You let life stealer hit you so many times. Like even here, right here. Um, let's look at this one more time. You started taking okay. damage right here. Is when you because should because my camera was off. I I my camera was off and I didn't see them coming. That's. That's my my. That's the the, the, uh, the, the mistake that I made. Well, what 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 I'm trying to tell you is that what you should have done right here. Uh, you uh -huh. were level three. Here you uh -huh. were level three. Uh, oh, never mind. You were level two. Yeah. Uh, and this is where you came became level three. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. So you put your okay. Okay, I didn't not, I did not see that. It was a replay bug. Okay. I thought you had win run, but you didn't win run. Oh no, I didn't have win run. I think yeah. Uh, 
is, uh, did, is there anything I could do better? In, in I mean, yeah, just just let me know. Yeah. You you didn't need to put a point in power shot simply because level one power shot doesn't do that much damage, and this is what you will oh, learn okay. when you watch uh, when you read uh, when you read the uh, uh, Wind Ranger guides. Yeah, Wind Wind, Wind Ranger guides. So um, you don't really need a point in power shot level one, especially if you do at level three plan on going one one one, uh, which uh -huh. is pretty pretty decent. Um, so you don't need a point in power shot. What you do is you put uh, a point in uh -huh. shackle shot, you put a point in wind run, and then you start putting maxing out the power shot. Okay, so <laughs> it should actually be what like uh, two zero one. Uh, one two one two one. Oh, one to one. Okay. Yeah, okay. One, first point you put in shackle shot. Second point okay. you put or or in or wind run. Wind, or wind run if if you okay. feel like you are in danger. Like yeah. you don't don't want to level up any of these skills until you get to like the river or the rune. Let's say you get to the river and you have a chance to shackle two people, so you go ahead and do yeah. that. Let's say you yeah. get to the rune and somebody starts hitting you, so you have to wind run. So you yeah. put a point in wind run. Uh, yeah. But pretty much you never want to put a point in power shot. Uh, okay. So you put a point in this. Next level, you put a point in this, and then uh, all. And three, then I yeah, so I I should I should do a shackle a wind run followed by a power shot. Okay. No, no. I mean either shackle oh. or wind run, depending oh, okay, on the okay. situation. And then whichever one you didn't level up, level that one up. And after that, level three is when you should put a point in power shot. And uh. level four power shot, level five power shot, uh, level six you can also um, level six you can. Uh, you can get okay, yeah. Level six focus fire ultimate, obviously. Uh, level seven power shot, and then okay. uh, and then you wanna always put points in sh uh, shackle shot after that. You wanna okay. max out wind run at the very end, last. Right? Okay. Anyway, so because you made that mistake right there, yeah, you ended yeah. up having to go all the way back to base, and yep. essentially you wasted like. I lost uh, uh, XP. Yeah. Yeah, you lost a lot of a, a whole lot. Yeah, of XP. Uh, that, that's something that I noticed. Like uh, in many of my games, I'm always uh, running back to base, and you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm often uh, under level, and everything that follows. Well, yeah. there's a couple of things that you could have done. Firstly, um, firstly, you had lots of lot, lots of gold. Uh, okay. So you could have. Okay. So we're gonna get to that. First, we I want to talk about what happened in this lane uh, okay. at, at the rune fight. You had to use up your full self, uh, self and, yeah. you, and you used up a tango, right? So, yep. so you were already starting off even zero minutes into the game. You had used Without up half, any more than half of your region. Yeah. So what you yeah. should have done is immediately, uh, immediately got the courier. Uh, uh, send me courier. another self. Yeah, send you another self okay. or another set of tangos. Okay. Yeah, I, so I didn't think about that. Yeah. If you'd done that, then right now you wouldn't have had to go back to base. That also, is very true. Yeah. Also, it's not a bad idea to get, uh, like, right now what you could have done is you could have just stood here in a very, very safe distance uh, behind the Spirit Breaker, making sure that you're in range of XP. Now, range of XP is something that you need to learn. It is extremely crucial that you learn what is the range of XP. Uh, a okay. small trick that you can do is that let's say uh, creeps are fighting let's say let's say creeps are fighting here and you're okay. like hiding over here uh, keep okay. an eye out on this on your XP okay. bar make sure that it's it's going up okay if an enemy creep dies like keep look uh, if an enemy creep is about to die keep an eye out on your um, XP bar if your XP okay. bar goes up then yes, good job. You're in I, I am in range. in range. Okay. But if your XP bar doesn't go up, then you know you're not in XP range and you have to actually move closer. So right now okay. what you could have done, and also you can go on YouTube or Dota to Wiki and it'll show you exactly what the XP range is. Now, okay. right here, what you could have done is you could have stood here in the back, behind the trees, near the tower, uh, at a very safe distance, not taking any damage or even showing yourself to the enemy lane and just take the XP for the creep wave and you could have bought a salve uh, and a and, and and a clarity to yourself so that you can you don't need to go back to base. It would have okay. cost you 150 gold, uh, right. but you would have basically you were trading gold for XP. But right now, what you're trading is, is you're trading XP for gold. You're saving your right. gold. You're still spending 50 H 50 gold though. You're still spending yeah. 50 gold because you're gonna keep you back the lane. So, so I'm losing uh, just, gold and XP, yeah. Yeah. So essentially, you're just losing. You, you're just losing, uh, hundred gold. Sorry. Uh, yeah. You would have just just lost hundred gold, 
Oh, you would have gotten all this XP. You would have been level four by now. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. So you decide yep. to get more region. That's good. Yep. Still no. Um, still no observers. That's not very good. But as okay. you said, you didn't buy observers this whole game. Still. Yeah. That's sort of yeah, whatever. I think you can tell that my last hitting is is really bad. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, if you're playing most, support, most time, yeah. if you're playing support, then you should not be right taking the creeps. Oh now. yeah, true, true. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't take my uh, carries farm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you should not be, you should not be right taking the creeps at all. Uh, you can okay. deny the creeps. If so, you want. so I should always be uh, harassing the. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should be harassing the enemy lane. And and try to draw the creep aggro right, so that no, the no, creeps don't. get closer. No? Don't don't try to draw the creep aggro. Let the carry do that. Um, okay, because I don't want the tower to to take the creeps to my carry. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay. So, uh, try if you are gonna cre aggro the creeps, then it's not it's not really good. So just use your spells to harass them. Um, maybe stand if you were standing here on the side yeah. or even yeah. here, and then right taking uh -huh. this guy, then these creeps would not aggro to you. At all, you would not take any uh, damage at all, and you would okay. be just doing right damage to this guy, and okay, uh, yeah. everything, <laughs> everything would have been perfectly fine. And then when this guy starts coming towards you, you just yeah, walk this, then in I this just direction. Run. Yeah. Okay. You just go okay. away. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah. So I think, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, there's another point that basically, like, I'm trying to do all the complicated stuff without getting the basics right. I guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like right now, okay. you're pulling. But this is not a good thing that you're doing because the creeps already under the tower. Yeah, the, I already one. missed the timing. Yeah, basically, it's just well, you, wasted. You stacked uh, it. You stacked it, which is. Oh yeah, I, I, I think yeah, this one was a stack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure if you meant to stack it or you actually tried to pull, but. Yeah, I, I think I meant to stack, but I wasn't sure if it actually worked. I mean, I, it, I think yeah. It, it oh yeah, it worked. Okay, this this time it it did yeah, stack. Yeah, yeah, okay. it definitely works. Uh, you okay, need to okay. uh, obviously what uh, I think. I think the best thing for you to do right now is to yeah. subscribe to Game Leap. Uh, subscribe okay. to Game Leap. Go over all the guides because it looks to me like there is. You need a lot of practice, a lot okay. of practice playing games, and you need a lot of very basic knowledge right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you are. You said you are in you 1.8, but yeah. your basic knowledge is definitely not that of a 1.8k. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you're 100 percent. This is. You're obviously doing something really good, um, either either it's uh, team fighting or whatever whatever you're doing. You're doing that uh -huh. pretty damn well because okay. 1.8k is people do have a very good understanding of um, several basic things, like a lot of the basic things. Like I've 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 uh, never coached anybody below 1.1k, uh, okay, uh, and even the 1.1k people. Knew had a lot more general knowledge than uh, than than, he than me. Knew. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's okay. not something to be ashamed of. You you said yeah. you have like four hundred games played, so you don't yeah. have enough games. Like Dota is a very very complicated game. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's true. You're not gonna. It it's it's not like you know. It's not football that you're gonna. In two yeah. minutes, you know. Oh, okay, it's that's it's not Pokemon played. Go, unfortunately. It's <laughs> not Pokemon Go, absolutely. Uh, you uh, could have shackled. You could have shackled this guy. Right here. I, I should have shackled. Oh, I did, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, yeah. you should. Oh no, I, I should have shackled. Yeah, yeah. because you, there was a tree. Yeah. Yeah. If you shackled him, your bane wouldn't have died. Oh yeah, that's that's true. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Also, it looks like you're going for a morbid mass. Uh, that that is so. Uh, there. I can't actually coach anymore <laughs> because the mistakes you're making. It'll take me a lot of hours. To oh okay teach. okay all right because, because these are you you'd be wasting your money on coaching okay. right now you okay so to, uh, what what should we do then <clears throat> um i think we can end the replay here uh i'm okay. not i'm not very sure what, but well we can keep watching but i'm not very sure what what we can do because okay we, i i think uh, i i know what i'll do i'll i'll check out your channel or watch uh the videos and i'll go through uh the the dota 2 wiki mm -hmm. i think uh those those things will help help a lot 